Hello friends, this is teacher JB. Let us study English. Today we are going to study some basics of English grammar. And we are going to concentrate on auxiliary verbs can, could, may, might, and must. First, can. Can is used to express ability to be able to do something. I can make jewelry. He can't speak French. Can you open the jar? And can is also used to ask for permission. Can I use your bathroom? Can I leave now? Can I raise the volume? And can is used to make request or suggestion. Can I have more napkins? Can I have the bill? You can take this spot if you like. You can do whatever you want. Now, could. Could is the past form of can. It describes an ability that someone had in the past. I could swim when I was young. You could see the boat sinking. They could tell he was nervous. And could often is used in auxiliary functions to express permission politely. Could I take this jacket with me? You could borrow my umbrella. Could you please let me pass you? Could I get you more water? And could is used to express possibility. All of them could ride in the van. You could always stay at our house. Could it be true? This plan could really work out. Next one, may. May is used to ask for, for more permission. May I come in? May I say something now? May I ask one question? And may is used to suggest something that is possible. She may agree with this plan. They may not be happy about what happened. It may shower tonight. Now, might. Might is the past form of may. It is used to suggest a smaller possibility than may does. Actually, might is more common than may in American English. He might have finished it. I might go see a doctor. I might not come this time. It might be right. You might have lost it. The store might have been closed today. Now, must. Must is used to express something formally required or necessary. I must to complete the project by this week. The government must provide health care for everybody. Everyone must to save the natural resources of the earth. The building must have a fire alarm. You must answer my question right now. And must is used to show that something is very likely. He must be a genius. You must be joking. There must be an accident. She must be very tired. Now choose the right word for each blank. She blank have practiced a lot, so she must. She must have practiced a lot. Her performance was amazing. I cannot find my watch anywhere. I might have. I might have lost it. Professor, blank I ask a question. So you can use can, but using may is better. So may. I ask a question, so when you uh, need some kind of permission, you can use may. Blank, you please lower your uh, voice. You're making a request, say, could you? Could you please lower your voice? Number five, you blank, be kidding. So this one, it, this is quite idiomatic. You must be kidding. You must be kidding. How is that possible? The last one, 
I speak both English and Chinese fluently. This is about ability. So I can, I can speak both English and Chinese fluently. Okay, let's read the sentences one more time. She must have practiced a lot. Her performance was amazing. I can't find my watch anywhere. I might have lost it. Professor, may I ask you a question? Could you please lower your voice? You must be kidding. How is that possible? I can speak both English and Chinese fluently. Okay, friends, this is the conclusion of today's study. When I come back, we are going to study prepositions on, at, and in. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.